If you are looking for an appliance that can stream lectures to students located off campus, medical procedures to surgeons abroad, town hall meetings to citizens in the comfort of their own home, sermons to members of the congregation wherever they may be, or concerts to music fans anywhere in the world. Ask yourself, should this be recorded? We believe anything worth streaming is worth recording. Bandwidth sometimes limits the quality of video you stream to your audience. Why should that interfere with recording the live event at the highest quality? Wouldn't it be nice to have one appliance that separates the recording and streaming functions? Now you do. Matrox Monarch HD is an easy to use H.264 encoding appliance that can simultaneously stream a live event and record a master quality video. Monarch HD generates an H.264 encoded stream from any HDMI source, such as a camera or switcher. With flexible streaming protocols, it can provide live content to Adobe Flash or Wowza media servers to any CDN. Monarch HD is works with Wowza certified, so users benefit from enhanced integration with the Wowza streaming engine. At the same time, Monarch HD records high quality MP4 or MOV files that can be stored on an SD card, a USB drive, or even a network map drive. Since transcoding is not required, these files can be viewed immediately by any standard media player, uploaded for video on demand, or imported natively for post-event editing. Monarch HD can be simply controlled and configured through its Command Center webpage using any device on the network, even your smartphone. Monarch HD development tools let you easily integrate Monarch HD into your own environment, or use it with third-party controllers such as Crestron. See how Monarch HD is being used by people in education, event production, and the medical field. To set up your Monarch HDX, you use its command center, but first you need to find its IP address. To do that, connect your Monarch HDX to an HDCP-enabled network or router. Then, there are three ways to find the IP address. Connect the Monarch HDX to an HDMI monitor. Power up the Monarch HDX. The IP address will appear on the screen for about 30 seconds before it is replaced by the pass-through signal. Insert a USB device formatted for FAT32 or NTFS into the USB port 2. When the yellow warning LED stops flashing, the Monarch HDX IP address has been saved as a text file on the USB device. Install and run the Monarch HDX Utils application on a computer attached to the same network as your Monarch HDX. You will see the IP addresses of all Monarch HDX devices connected to the network. You identify yours by matching the serial number on the bottom of the actual unit. Monarch HDX Command Center is a web-based application that lets you configure Monarch HDX settings and control streaming and recording sessions. There are two ways to access the Command Center. From your web browser, type the IP address of your Monarch HDX device into the address field and press Enter. Open the Matrox Monarch HTX Utils application on a computer attached to the same network as your Monarch HDX. Double click any of the listed devices to access the command center. The command center automatically displays the status page, which you can access without logging in. 
To access other pages, click the menu item for the page you want. Enter your username and password. By default, the username and password are set to admin. Only the password can be modified. In Monarch HTX Command Center, each of the two encoders has buttons for starting or stopping sessions. Their appearance changes based on the operating mode you select. The top button is for encoder 1, and the bottom button is for encoder 2. This button indicates that an encoder is set to stream. You click this button to start streaming the input source. If you're controlling multiple Monarch HDX devices, all the devices that are set to stream will start streaming. This pulsing button indicates that an encoder is currently streaming. You click this button to stop streaming. If you are controlling multiple Monarch HDX devices, all the devices that are set to stream will stop streaming. This button indicates that an encoder is set to record. You click this button to start recording the input source. If you are controlling multiple Monarch HDX devices, all the devices that are set to record will begin recording. This pulsing button indicates that an encoder is currently recording its input source. You click this button to stop recording. If you are controlling multiple Monarch HDX devices, all the devices that are set to record will stop recording. This button is the placeholder for an encoder you have intentionally disabled. It is only seen when none is selected for the operating mode on the encoder settings page. This button links both encoder buttons so that clicking on one encoder button controls both encoders.